Good morning and happy Friday, Chargers. I'm Nate Lara. And I'm Jessica Brest. Get ready because DP News starts now. Say nope to dope, say cool to school admissions are due today, so don't forget to send them in by the end of the day. Postmarked means it needs to be in the mail before it is collected today. Dos Pueblos Instrumental Music con Winter Concert is Wednesday, December 18th at 7 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center. We will have a full evening of performances from the orchestra, both our beginning and advanced jazz bands. A public, this is a public invitation. A suggested donation of $5 is welcome at the door. Every day I have the blue. Hey DP, remember that petitions to request a schedule change for second semester are due back to Mrs. Irwin in the counseling office by 4 p.m. today. If you want to make a change to your schedule for next semester and have not yet picked up a petition, petitions are available at the counseling desk and at lunch and after school. Yesterday, a UCSB representative came to speak about the UCSB Research Mentorship Program. It's a six-week program for high school students to partner with a UCSB researcher to learn about the academic research pro process. If you missed it yesterday, you can come to H30 today at lunch and learn about this incredible opportunity and find out how to apply. The Penny Drive has been going on all week. Your fourth period classes are all competing to raise the most money, which will be donated to the Unity Shop. Here are the top 11 classes in no particular order so far. San Marcos was in the newspaper for their penny drive where they collected money from local elementary schools for the Unity Shop. Let's show the community who the real givers are and bring in as much money as we can. Remember that 10s, 20s, 50s, and 100s are welcome, as are checks from local companies since they are all a donation to the Unity Shop. Tomorrow night, Saturday, the 14th, our Dos Pueblos vocal music programs will be performing at the 2013 Festival of Voices Vocal Winter Music Concert. It's at 7 p.m. in the Ealings Performing Arts Center. Tickets will be available at the door for $5 for students or children and $8 for adults. It will feature our entire concert choir, a mixture of our four ensembles, and will feature some holiday favorites and vocal jazz perfect for people from ages 3 to 93. We look forward to seeing you there. Today at lunch, those classes that earned a pizza party will, be, from their magazine sales, will be getting their pizza in the Greek. Also, if, if you just happen to have $2 in your pocket, you should definitely consider buying a tie-dye shirt. They're going to look super good, and you can even make your own. So come down to the Greek and get your hippie on, guys. All right, well, that's all the news we have for you today, DP. I'm Nate. Lara, have a fantastic weekend. Remember to buy holiday package tickets. And I'm Jessica. Now over to John for your sports news. Today, girls basketball returns to the Gold Coast Tournament for a game against Rio Mesa. Yesterday, boys basketball had a tough game against Saugus last night at the Ventura County Classic Tournament. They led the first quarter 17-6, but couldn't keep up. Nate Johnson had 11 points, and Dane Gardner had 14 in a tight 56-44 loss. You'll get them next time, boys. Also yesterday, boys soccer had a game against Carpinteria at Carp. Our Chargers fought hard and came out with a 2-1 win with goals by Tim Hajduk and Pedro Torres. Great job, boys. Yesterday, girls soccer had a great game here against Santa Maria. The girls started out fast and never slowed down in the huge 11-0 win. Amazing job, girls. Well, that's all the sports news I have for you. I'm John Herrera. Have a good day, DP.